It is given that one year ago, P was four times as old as her daughter Q. Five years hence, P's age will exceed her daughter's age by nine years. What will be the ratio of present ages of P and Q? That is what we have to find. So it is given that one year ago, P was four times as old as her daughter. Say, her daughter is Q, is having the age of X. Then, one year ago, P's age was four times of X. And it is given that after five years, P's age will exceed her daughter's age by nine. So, after five years, the difference between the age will be equal to nine. That is what they have given. We have to find the ratio of the present ages of P and Q. Our options are given as follows. Eleven is to six, four is to three, thirteen is to four, and five is to three. What will be the answer? Let us see. One year ago, we are assuming Q's age to be X. And it is given that one year ago, P was four times as old as her daughter. So it is four times X. Their current age can be calculated as plus 1. x plus 1 and 4x plus 1. We have to find the ratio of the present ages. And we are given that the difference of their ages 5 years hence will exceed the daughter's age by 9 years. So 5 years hence your Q's age will be X plus 1 plus 5. And your P's age will be 4X plus 1 plus 5. And it is given that the difference is equal to 9. P's age will exceed her daughter's age by 9 years. So P's age will exceed her daughter's age by 9 years. Solving this equation further, we can write 4x plus 6 minus x plus 6 is equal to 9. Which is nothing but on solving, we get 3x is equal to 9. That gives x to be 3. So, we have got our x value. On substituting x, we get the current age of p and q. That is, 3 plus 1 is 4 years for Q and 4x plus 1 substituting 3 you get 12 plus 1 that is equal to 13 years. So the ratio of the ages is nothing but 13 is to 4 which is nothing but our option C. Hence option C will be your answer. These pattern of questions appear in bank CTS exams. Let us move on to our next interesting question. It is given that sum of the ages of A, B and C is equal to 96 years. We have to find out B's age 
with the following information. Given the statements P and Q are sufficient. The statements are over here. P is given to be A is 6 years older than C. A Q statement is the total of B and C's age is 56. The sum of the ages A, B and C is given to be 96. We have to find out B's age. Our information given in the statements are A is 6 years older than C. So, A is 6 years older than C. So, C plus 6. The total of B and C's ages is given to be 56. So, the total of B and C is 56. With this data, we have to analyze whether P as well as Q or only P or only Q is required to find the answer for the question. These pattern of questions appear in bank and TCS exams. Let us see the answer. Our answer is option C, both P and Q. Let us see how. Let us consider C's value to be X and it is given that in our first statement that is P, A is 6 years older than C. So our C's value is X. So X plus 6 will be the age of A. And it is given in the question that A plus B plus C is equal to 96. Using our second statement, we can say that B and C is equal to 56. So, C's value is X. So, substitute X that gives you B plus X is equal to 56. In this equation, substituting the value of A, you get x plus 6 over here and our b plus c is given to be 56 so substitute this over here that is nothing but 56 hence we get our equation as this. On solving, you get x having the value as 34. 96 minus 62 is equal to 34. And we have the equation b plus x is equal to 56. We have to find the value of b. And we have found out the value of x to be 34. Substituting x over here, we can find the value of b. So, b is nothing but 56 minus 34 that is equal to 22. So, only by using both the statements, we are able to find out the answer.